Once a patient has completed initial treatment for early stage breast cancer, such as radiation, chemotherapy, or surgery, what is her residual risk of having a recurrence of the breast or a new cancer? That's a good question we always hear from our patients. It's important to remember that most patients will have hormone receptor positive disease. And these patients often will remain on anti-estrogen therapy or endocrine therapy for a number of years, many patients five or more years. And in fact, they will continue their treatment uh, during that time. And once they finish their endocrine treatment, they actually have what's called a carryover effect where the protective benefit from endocrine therapy will persist. Other patients with HER2 positive disease will continue on anti-HER2 therapy after their initial uh, treatment for a year at this point. Uh, the question sometimes is of concern for women with uh, what's called triple negative disease. But again, it's important to remember that for them, chemotherapy is quite effective in reducing the risk of recurrence in the future. And for those reasons, patients are often anxious about the likelihood of a recurrence in the future, and they ask questions about what kind of tests, what kind of blood tests or imaging studies will be done. And what we tell patients is that at this point, there is not enough evidence to suggest that patients should undergo surveillance tests with imaging studies, x-rays, or blood tests. It has not been shown that they help improve their long-term survival. Plus, we often fear the risk of identifying false positives or what we call ghosts, things that are not real and that may just generate anxiety. What's important also for patients to remember is that they have a small risk of developing a new breast cancer in the opposite breast. And so for that reason, it is very critical that they talk to their uh, breast imaging specialist or their surgeon about what imaging modalities they should pursue, such as mammography, and in some cases, ultrasound and perhaps MRI. But the most important message for patients to hear from us is that today, most patients diagnosed with early stage breast cancer will survive their diagnosis and in fact will have to pay attention to all other health issues unrelated to breast cancer as they grow older.